Hey guys, I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis, but first. Okay guys, as you can see, I global. This is one of many globals for fighting the Mokots. Mokots tend to be a very good mob for uh, uh, globaling. Um, they don't necessarily have the most epic loot or whatever. They do have a pretty good markup loot on the bottom end, and they have a pretty good markup loot on the top end, um, both being very, very different things. Um, when you're doing the Mokot 2 through 4, which I have done several times now, uh, you can kill any Mokot that's at least outside of the Kuhoff. I've not done the Kuhoff missions yet. I'm going to do that, and then I'll let you know in those missions when I talk about those videos, in within those videos, um, whether you can do the Mokot 2, 3, and 4 while inside uh, the Kuhoff. Uh, my thought is maybe, and that would be super cool, um, but we'll wait till we get there. Um, anyways, so juveniles, you get the jellies, which is super cool. Uh, really high markup. Um, if you have uh, the, at the other end, if you're killing the stalkers and that type of stuff, you can get something called a generic fuse, which is a component in making warp drives. And you can imagine that has a pretty good markup too. It's also a five pet item versus the jellies, which is a 0 .008 uh, item. So you have to get a whole lot of jellies to really get any sort of substance, but they're like 19,000% uh, markup. I said in a video earlier that they were 600%. That was a rough guesstimation, I guess you could say. Um, I can tell you that with the one ped of jellies I have now, the markup would be like 19.23 ped, uh, which is rather insane. These items have good markup. There's a lot of things in between that is great for crafting. I'll get into that more when I talk about Mokots specifically. Um, but what's really nice about the Mokot mission is that 2, 3, and 4 all give ex uh, experience, uh, skill, however you want to view that, in the same skill. They all give uh, skill and evasion, which is not a micro skill by any stretch of the means, but it's a skill we tend to work hard to get. Uh, Mokot 2 gives you 0.10. Mokot three gives you 0.2 of a peck which if you're not following along is uh, 30 peck or 0.3 of a ped and then mocot four gives you actually 0.5 so you can get 0.8 of a peck which would be insane if you did this like 10 times that would be like eight ped i can't imagine that um, i can tell you that my evasion proficiency or whatever you want to call it is gone up quite significant in the last little bit um, and I will continue there is also a dodge version of the same thing uh, but I'm going to save that for a future video if I can get to that mission or not if not I'll just save it for way in the future and we'll talk about that again then anyways guys this has been another uh, video in the season of crafting look for the next couple days for more videos to come out on two line and about crafting and that type of stuff uh, and who else knows what might be coming out. There's a lot of little mini-series I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Keep watching these videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.